Good evening and welcome back to another hour of On the Q-Tip, keeping you in the know. I'm your host, Miss Quinn. This evening joining me is a very dear friend of mine by the name of Mrs. Demetrius Straws. Mrs. Straws is the Executive Director of United Medical and Business Institute located right here on the south side in East Point, Georgia. Thank you so much for joining us, Mrs. Straws. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Mrs. Straws, um, what I want to do first is have you to tell us a little bit about your background. Okay, well, like you said, presently I'm the Executive Director at United Medical and Business Institute, and I have several years of, of experience in the education arena. I have a bachelor's degree from United excuse me, United Medical and Business Institute, that's on my mind. Right. I have a bachelor's degree from North Carolina A&T State University. Go Aggies! <laughs> and I also have an MBA from the University of North Carolina. Go North Carolina! And I've had several positions in education. I've been an instructor, chairperson, advisor. So education is my thing. I love education. Okay, very good. So you said you've been an instructor, chairperson, and things like that. So what was it that made you want to venture out and become an executive director of a school? Okay, well, like I said previously, education is my thing, and I love, I have a passion for education, but I wanted to make a bigger impact. On the com in the community. I know that I can make a bigger impact by having my own school. So I s talked it over with my husband and he was very supportive. Nathaniel Straws, he's in the audience. Hi Nathaniel. He's also um, the president of United Medical and Business Institute. He's also the owner. And together him and I um, opened up the school in East Point and we are able to make a bigger impact in the community by having our own school. Okay. All right. So you mentioned that your husband is the owner. So that makes you co-owner? Yes. We own together. All right, people. So not only is she the executive director of the school, she and her husband are the owners of the school. That's right. A black-owned post-secondary school right here on the south side in East Point, Georgia. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mrs. Strauss, let me ask you, what made East Point the prime location for your school rather than any other area in the Atlanta um, metropolitan area? Okay, well, you know we're located in a historically um, wagon works building, and it's conveniently located right behind the East Point train station. And we knew that most of our students would need to be accessible to MARTA. So Nathaniel and I thought that that would be a perfect location because East Point train station is right behind the um, Wagon Works building where we're located. Okay. So how long has United Medical and Business Institute been in operation? We've been in operation now for 12 years and we are accredited. We are accredited by COE, Council on Ec Occupational Education, and we're also approved by the state, NPET, Non-Public Post-Secondary Education Commission. Okay. Um, what are some programs that you guys offer? I know you said Medical and Business Institute, so what are some programs that you offer at your school? The programs that we offer at our school are medical assisting, dental assisting, and medical business administration. All of our programs are diploma programs and our graduates can get nationally certified in all three programs. Okay, medical assisting, dental assisting, and medical business administration. How long are those programs? Medical assisting and medical business administration, those programs are eight months. Our dental assisting program is for 10 months. All right. So that sounds really good. So for the people listening, this is the question they want to know. Well, how much do these programs cost? Sounds good. I like dental assisting. I like medical assisting. But how much would something like that cost me if I wanted to go? Okay. Well, at this time, we have financial aid. We also have in-house scholarships. So when you come in, we will be able to talk to you about the various uh, financial aid opportunities that can help you supplement the cost of these programs. Fantastic. So you hear that? Financial aid opportunity. They have options for you. So don't let cost be a deterrent in you wanting to do something to better your future. Um, Mrs. Straws, how do you typically 
recruit a potential student? Okay, we typically, we have, um, well, word of mouth is our number one way. We occasionally run um, commercials. We have flyers. We participate in community events to get the word out about our school and things like that. Okay, so um, I heard you mention that you guys are MARTA accessible, which I think is great because a lot of people don't have transportation. Um, for those potential students that may be sitting at home and say they have some type of physical disability, say they're in a wheelchair or something like that, are you all equipped to handle those types of students? Yes, Wagon Works, where UMBI is located, it is uh, wheelchair accessible. So. Okay, well, that's fantastic. So, again, nothing should be deterring you if you're wanting to do something to better your future. That's right. Um, Mrs. Straws, you talked about the three programs that you have. So another question I want to ask is, do you guys help your students once they graduate gain employment? Yes, we do. We have an awesome placement um, department. Um, we have an 88% placement rate. That's so fantastic. yes, we do. Uh, most of our graduates get hired from their extern because we have a lot of relationships in the medical and dental uh, community who not only allow our students to do externships there, but they hire our extern, our students, our graduates. So a lot of our externships are extern to hire. And if you don't get hired from their extern, they come in with our placement department, mm -hmm. and we continue to work with them until they're hired. Most of our graduates are hired very quickly once they meet all of their graduation requirements. That's good. That's good. So you mentioned something called extern. For those people watching that may not be familiar with the terminology, can you sort of explain to them what an externship is? Sure. Externship is where our graduates work at a medical facility or a dental facility and they get hands-on training with the medical professionals. So they're getting hands-on training in their field. Okay, so with that hands-on training, is that something included in their coursework or is it separate? No, externship is included in their coursework. It is uh, a graduation requirement and it's also um, an enhancement to give them that hands-on training before they officially get into the field. Okay, fantastic. So what we're going to do right now is take a quick break, and we're going to come back with some more questions from Mrs. Straws, the Executive Director of United Medical and Business Institute right here in East Point. See you in a few minutes.
All right, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. And still here with me is Mrs. Strauss, the Executive Director of United Medical and Business Institute, located in East Point, Georgia. Mrs. Strauss, the questions that we've actually, you've given us so much information so far, but for those people listening, I still want to dig a little bit deeper, ask some more questions to give them a little bit more information that can help um, ease their minds or help them to really make a decision on something that they've probably been struggling with as it relates to going back to school, okay? okay. So my next question for you, you talked about um, gaining employment and the externship experience. What are some positions that a person enrolled in medical assisting can um, obtain through that program? Medical assisting, they can work in a hospital, they can work as a, a clinical lab, a, they can work in a school system, they can work um, in the prison system. So there's so many places that they can work. They can work in clinical, laboratory, they can be a medical assistant, they could be a phlebotomist. There's so many positions that they can work in. They can also work in the school system. Okay. What about the medical business administrative um, students? What are some positions that they could possibly gain? Medical business administration is very broad. They can also work in a hospital. They can work in a doctor's office. They can work in medical records, medical insurance, billing and coding. They can also work in medical management. They can work in um, customer service. So that's a very broad position as well. They can work from management all the way down to customer service in the health field. Okay. Now, what about the dental um, assistant program that you mentioned? Um, and you said it was it's a little bit longer. The program for dental assisting is a little bit longer. So what are Can some um, positions that they could possibly obtain? Dental assistant, they can work as a dental assistant in the dental's office. They can work in a hospital. They can also work in the dental um, supply office. They can work in an insurance company. And they can also work in the dental, um, it's called something like a dental teeth warehouse okay. where they make false teeth implants. So they're able to assess with that as well. Wow, that's very fascinating. Um, so of the three programs, which of the programs do you think is the most popular and why do you think it is? Most popular, well, all three of the programs are very good. Our graduates do very well in all three programs. But if I had to pick one that was most popular, at this time, it probably would be medical assisting. And that's mainly because when people think of the medical field, they think of the clinical part, and sometimes they don't realize that medical administration is just as important. But I have to say that dental assisting is catching up um, because our dental assisting program is really growing. So all three of them are great, though. Okay. Um, that's fantastic. Um, for those of you that are not af afraid of a needle or blood, medical assisting may be for you. But those of you that like to shuffle the paperwork, you may want to go with that medical business administration. But if you like teeth, <laughs> then you may be more prone to the dental assisting program. Mrs. Strauss, um, why do you feel that a school like this is needed in this community? The reason why I feel like a school like UMBI is needed in this community is um, I'm all for education. I always encourage people to go as far as they can in education. However, realistically, all people cannot attend a four-year university, and some people don't want to put in the time that it takes to um, be committed to a four-year university. So UMBI, we're the type of facility that mends the gap. If you don't want to go to a four-year community, uh, four-year university, you can come to UMBI, complete, and still get a very good career with a lucrative salary. Okay, okay. Um, now, we've gotten through the programs and how to get through with the cost of the programs. Now let's get to the campus, okay? Okay. Describe your student body a little bit for us. Okay, our student body. Our student body, um, it entails a variety of, of, of students. Most of our students are between the ages of 18 and 40. We have some students who they come back to school to enhance the medical knowledge that they already have. We have some students, this is their 
first career, fresh out of high school. And then we have some students who are there and realistically they're just trying to find out what it is that they really want to do in life. Okay. okay. Well, that, that about kept college air. Mm -hmm. I would say that. Friendly and professional. All right. And We're fun. We try to make learning fun as well. Okay, very, very good. Um, so with the three programs, what are your class hours for the programs that you offer? At this time, our class hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30 until 12.30. And we are planning on starting our evening classes back in the future. And our evening classes will be Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. Okay. Um, so for the three programs that you offer, What's the classroom sizes um, or like your student teacher ratio? Um, is it small enough where you, you know your students can sort of feel like the teacher is really there to help or the instructor is there to help? Because at some of these really, really big schools, students are just a number. Is it like that at United Medical and Business Institute? Definitely not. United Medical and Business Institute, we have a personal touch. Um, you're definitely will never be just thought of as a number. We have very good instructors. Our instructors, in addition to their education, they all also have um, very a lot of experience in the field that they teach. They have passion for what they do. And okay. Since you guys have an actual campus in East Point and you have all these students every day, are there any clubs or student activities that you have on campus that try to help keep students engaged? Yes, United Medical and Business Institute, we're a very um, community-oriented uh, school. We have two organizations. We have um, National Technical Honor Society, and we also have Student Government Association, and both of our Student organizations are very active in the community. Okay, very good. Fantastic. Um, for those people listening and watching, what's the first thing a person should do if they're interested in enrolling, in enrolling right now? Okay. Anyone who is interested in the medical or dental field, I would encourage you to call United Medical and Business Institute and set up an appointment to speak with an admissions rep. And when you come in, we'll give you a tour of the school, and we'll go over in detail all the enhancements about the program and ask, answer any questions that you may have. Okay, fantastic. So um, I want to sort of dig a little bit deeper. What can you tell us that makes United Medical and Business different from other schools that offer similar programs? Yes, there's a lot of other schools out there that offer similar programs. United Medical and Business Institute, we do what other schools do, but we do it better with a bigger passion. We really care about our students. They're just not a number. And we take that passion into really caring about them being placed after they graduate. We take a personal interest in all of our students. We really care. Okay. Well, that's, that's good to know because a lot of times when students or when people are trying to embark on a new journey, they have a lot of um, personal issues that they're dealing with. They want to do something. They want to be better, but a lot of times they're so, sort of hindered by those things. So it's good to know that you guys have that personal touch where students can come in, get the training that they need, and still feel and know that they're cared about as a person. Right, and along with that, personal touch. We also have to show some tough love too. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to let them know that realistically how life is. And with that tough love, it helps them to overcome the obstacles and to be able to reach their full potential. You're absolutely right about tough love. I definitely agree with that. Um, my next question, you talked about the three programs that you currently have. Do you plan on having any additional programs added to your school in the future? Yes, we have, Nathaniel and I, we have thought about um, more programs to add in the future. At this time, we're not really sure, but we are thinking about adding more um, programs in the future. And hopefully, I'll be able to come at another date in the future and talk about those programs. 
You are more than welcome to come anytime to talk about anything dealing with United Medical and Business Institute, Mrs. Strauss. Um, my next question for you, uh, what would you say to someone watching right now who may be a little bit hesitant about getting started? What would you say to sort of encourage them or, you know, motivate them? They're sitting at home on the couch or lying across their bed right now. They're watching us live and they're like, wow, she really sounds like she really cares. It sounds like this might be a great place. It's close. It's in my community. What would you say to them to make them want to pick up the phone and call you? I would say that we always have people to come in that's very hesitant, they're scared. A lot of people say, you know, I haven't been to school in a while. And we encourage them, we motivate them. And I always try to uh, share my favorite motto, change is the only constant. If you continue to do what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always got. And in order to have something that you never had, you're going to have to do something that you've never done. And that encourages a lot of people, that motto. You know what? That just encouraged me. That I like that. I really, really do like that. Um, my last question for you, Mrs. Strauss, is how can our viewers right now contact you if they're interested in enrolling tomorrow? Okay. United Medical and Business Institute, we are located in East Point in the Wagon Works building, and our address is 1514 East Cleveland Avenue, Suite 113, East Point, Georgia, 30344. And our phone number is 404-761-2335. And our website is www.umbi.edu. All right, so you guys heard that here. That's United Medical and Business Institute, located at 1514 East Cleveland Avenue, Suite 113. So if you know where Cleveland Avenue is, it's right behind that East Point Marta Station in the Wagon Works building. I've taken a drive over there, so I know exactly where it is. Also, give them a call tomorrow morning. The only way you're going to get started on preparing for your future is by making the call. So give them a call at 404 761 Two three three five. Again, that number is four zero four seven six one two three three five. Quinn, yes, ma'am. I have something for you. What? Uh oh, y'all. She has something for me. I like getting stuff. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay. I bought you a UMBI shirt. Okay. I'm gonna be rocking some purple. Oh, thank you so much. And I also. You a UMBI bag. All right, I can put my healthy snacks in here. And for the audience, we have we also have a stress ball for you. Stress and ball. Everyone oh. in the audience will get a UMBI stress ball. You get a stress ball. You get a stress ball. <laughs> All and right. Get a stress ball. All right. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Stress balls are good to have because we do get tend to get a little stressed out with things every I, now and again. I appreciate you, Miss Quinn, for allowing me to come on this show. I've watched it several times, and this is a great show. Thank you so very much for joining us. I appreciate you. You've been a fabulous guest, Thank you. and I'm really excited about what you're doing in our community over here in South Fulton. Um, so you guys go ahead and make that call tomorrow morning to United Medical and Business Institute so that you can go ahead and get started on making your dreams become a reality. We'll be back in a few moments.
right, good evening and welcome back. Thank you for staying tuned in. Um, before I leave you, I wanted to share a little bit of information because here on the Q-tip, where we're keeping you in the know, that's exactly what we want to do. So I want to share some information to those of you that may be, have children or you may be ages 16 to 24. My life, my career, my future workshop in collaboration with um, M-A-O-Y-I and Saucy, which is Saving Our Sons and Sisters. They're hosting in partnership with United Way's Metro Atlanta Opportunity Youth Initiative a um, workshop, future workshop, which is going to be providing opportunities for youth to gain exposure to and experience high demand careers such as health care and information technology. It's going to give adolescents opportunities to develop work readiness skills, gain exposure to practical work experience, and earn money. That's right, earn some money. Okay, so um, the information for that is um, info at I-A-M-S-O-S-S-I dot org. I'm going to say that again. You can contact info at I-A-M as in Mary, S as in Sam, O-S-S-I dot org. So that's for people ages 16 to 24. This is going to take place on January 13th, which is this Saturday, from 10 to 2 at the J.A. Chick-fil-A Foundation Discovery Center at 275 Northside Drive. So, of course, if Chick-fil-A has their hand in it, it's going to be something great and positive for our youth. So go ahead and try and take advantage of that. Also, I wanted to share with you guys about some free information here uh, with the High Museum of Art. It says take advantage of free admission at the High Museum of Art this Sunday as part of the museum's second Sunday's promotion. All guests will get free admission from noon to five as part of the special. Plus, you can take part in free family-friendly programming from one to four. And this is at the High Museum of Art located at 1280 Peachtree Street, Northeast Atlanta. You can check out their website at high.org. And just one last thing before we go, we know that Monday is a holiday and we'll be celebrating the birth of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I encourage all of you to go out and find something to do so that you can definitely serve in your community. I myself, I'll be down at Ebenezer Baptist Church Monday morning. And um, so I hope to see some familiar faces there. But go around, check in your community, see who needs some help, and go out and be of service. Um, not just on Monday, but every day. As always, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Have a good day. All right.